Hello, I'm Mike Like, and welcome back to Stasis. We're here in the Medical Bay, where there's a project called Project Seed, and it's been horrible. <laughs> you look at the last episode, we read through some frightful stuff. So they're creating these genetic monsters, and they're doing it in a horrible way. There's a couple PDAs for us to read. Dr. Clifford Bachman. They said I'd never make it to 60. Ha, 85, you fuckers. They said I'd never make it to 60. Oh, I read that. Old and stale cooking with gas. Three bastard kids, and I outlived them all. Okay, so I was young when I had them. Those girls never knew I was the father, of course. I had to switch the DNA samples so they didn't know the little shits were mine. I'm too old now for all that, but you never completely lose your eye for ladies. What a piece of trash. I might have false teeth, Dr. Moan, but I'm no moron. For the good of humanity, I'm a sociopath and alleged rapist of women, but your little speech to your crew was less than sincere than anything I could have say with a straight face. At least you know I had to turn a blind eye whenever I had to get rid of troublesome subjects, right, Moan? The new gas for the chamber is working splendidly. An improved kill rate of 60% on an old formula. I watched those poor fuckers uh, within and die. Rice and die. We have a viewing window now, just so we can make sure it's done. If I were a moral man, I'd call it all perverse. It's lucky for Project Seed that I couldn't give a shit. I thrive when I don't have answers to everyone with a conscience. I don't have to answer with everyone with a conscience. This will do, not at all. What? This will not do, not at all. I need more subjects. The rejection ratio of the DNA splicing is stress. Transpheric. So not only do I need more bodies, but I need better ones. They bring me imports and strays, but the beast, but the best results are achieved with crew members. One cannot prey too often on those, of course, no matter the need. My chosen ones were always those who wouldn't be missed. The furnaces are in inadequate for my disposal requirements. I'm told they're so hot that they could destroy dark matter. They seem slow to respond when burning flesh though and then the smell is not really pleasant either it reminds me of the injured dog that I found as a little boy growing up in Missouri I looked at it with a pleading look the kind a sick patient gives a doctor they trust absolutely naturally I stomped on the mongrel's head and it was no thank you Dr. Clifford how do I get out of this I don't want to read any more of this crap See the other one. Okay, Dr. Marvin DeSantos. Man, a bitch from shipping won't get off my back. I'm never reading this shit. Let's solve the puzzles. probably something in there for the puzzles but I don't really care okay I could click on another power cell so the first one was straight around the other one was like this way and this one is down we need something to do with that for sure let's see what this is there are signs of renal failure it appears the kidneys were unable to process the amino acids required for the breakdown of nutrients Damage to the liver, stomach, and intestine show the same degenerate pattern reasons. It's possible the report of the mother giving birth three months prior was in error. Comments. Further reports regarding failure of mutagenic compounds will be finished later. What? I can't, I can't click on it anymore. Is there anything I could do with this? No. No. Uh, click on it. Subject died during birth. It can be surmised that death was due to a failing in the host, as all reports and tests leading up to birth show signs of fatal defect. Of showed no signs of fetal defect. Upon further investigation, the woman's medical history was noted that she experienced complications when giving birth to a child previously. Those should not have been used. 
as this been highlighted in the light of her medical history, I now assume that this was the cause of the fetal distress and death of the subject. Oast is being kept alive and undergone one transfusion. Uh, revoke Oast's life support and dispose of the body with, with hybrid reject C. Okay. A highly unusual form of rejection, such as not being observed before manifested in this hybrid, it is entirely possible that this mutagenic compound used synthesis used to synthesize the hybrid DNA was faulty in the particular instance. Usually, with any rejection, there is a sign of initial bonding and then a breakdown. But in this case, there was absolutely no bonding attempted whatsoever. Given the thoroughness with which we create DNA, I expect that the centrifuge machine for this particular batch was faulty. Repair and a maintenance check on the machine is ordered immediately. Destroy what remains also destroy the fetus. What a bunch of sacks of shit. Something here. No. Alright, machinery. Uh, PDA. Oh, yeah, there's one we just read, of course. Read out screens. I don't think there's anywhere else we can get out here. Let's save it one more time. I did pick up some stuff though. I picked up a liquid nitrogen canister bandage. I still have the milk. I have a portable defibrillator. What do I use that for? Can I use that this sack of crap? That's just crazy. Although pulsating mass of flesh and bone. Human host. Uh, yep, let's go get shot. Probably. Uh, let's use this thing with the sink. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. I was gonna get shot then. Uh, sink. What's the purpose of the sink? What's this down here? Platform. Can I get a shot now? Oh, what if I use this thing with the robot when it goes past? Not quite. Not quite what I had in mind. What if I'm closer when he does it? Like when it's right across from me. I also had a defibrillator pad. Where can I use that? High temperature slug gun. Robot! Oh, geez. <laughs> I don't last very long. So that doesn't look like the way to do it, obviously. Oh, boy. So I have one idea of where to get started. I feel like I've done this puzzle already in this game, or another game. Anyway, I'm having deja vu. Stick the bandage in the sink. Turn on the sink. Turn on the sink, John. And then use the thing on the, not the storage crate, I'll wait for the robot to come back up here and then I'll use it on the water. I figure I was going to have to use this defibrillator on the robot from the moment I saw it. 
Yeah, spilled water. I thought so. Wait for it to get a little bit closer, and looks like it's in the water right now. Go for it. Yeah. Goodbye, Robo. It's deactivated. I was worried I might just stun it. Easy person. God, I just need it. Got it. What did you get? What did you get, John? A twisted metal. What? <laughs> You got a game? <laughs> a kid, a kid. What's this up here? Power pad. Another power pad. Now, I'm betting I'm going to die if I walk through this. So let's save it and recreate that scene from uh, the Resident Evil movie. Walk through there. Oh man. I wanted to recreate that scene. So mean. Warning. The oxygen atmosphere generating system is no longer functioning. Product failure is imminent. Uh. What? What the heck? So when I stand on it, it glows. Autology that provides energy boost for every duty equipment. Okay. Now your handprint marks the surface of the sparkling clean sink. It might be a tight with built-in cleaning drone. There's, why would there be a sink here? Oh, there's an airlock. Okay. Black void. Okay. Twisted metal. That's just crazy. Although. Uh, let's see. What can we do with that? Clog that up. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. That's the point. I want you to try and break it. I can't see it working like that. Hmm. It doesn't work like that. So it provides an energy boost for heavy duty equipment. I don't know what that means. Can I shoot the door with it? No. A secure barrier to adjacent room. What if I do it again? Doesn't seem like it's working. Let's see what else we can do. Now that we got rid of the robot, everything else is opened up, so. It'll be too long before I figure out what I had to do. So they let me shoot the door back here. Can I freeze the door? Freezing the door, and then I'll shoot it, and it'll shatter into a million pieces. Okay. Not quite what I was expecting. Well, let's try it anyway. Yeah. Now it is frozen. Now it is shot to pieces. Very smart, John. You're a smart cookie. I didn't even have to ask you to shoot it again. Oh boy. What the hell are these things? Uh, it has fallen from the operating table only to crawl around in aimless uh, perigination? 
no doubt delirious. Okay, let's shoot it. Can I shoot it? Uh, what's that? Conjoined hybrid, closed at the spine, appears immobile, his hands frequently scan the room. Look at all these things. Frightening thin creature, courtesy of Kane Corporation. This moving seems to be unaware of its surroundings, or it could simply have accepted its fate. Both uh, bodies barely show signs of life. It is tiny, clinging on to life by only the finest thread. It's not a pleasant sight to watch something so small on the fine line between life and death. This body is wasted away to a little more than sinew. This creature strains as blindings. It seems healthy, though judging by the fury in his eyes, it's not far, it's far from pleased. Right. There's fluid drainage, of course. There's always fluid drainage. Let's see if there's anything else I can... Oh, that's me? I thought there was a creature there to stand in the corner? I'm glad this game isn't like Space Quest. If you ever played Space Quest, that game had a habit of killing you in every which way, and a habit of letting you get further in the game and missing items. This game would be seriously difficult <laughs> if that were the case. If you try a terminal, hopefully that hybrid thing doesn't get murder me. Nope, never. Lana, Daryl, Frederick, and Nay. Host Terra McCormick, First Lieutenant, Marine Liaison, Observations. So it appears to have inherited her mother's powerful physical build and late in aggression. Lana has the markings of excellent alpha female candidate. Recommendations? Move on to a group cell as isolation appears to promote irritability. Daryl. Host Will Brody, Nurse, Medical Deck. Observations. Quiet but intelligent. Attempted to pick the lock on his cell yesterday, but failed to escape. Excellent puzzle solving skills. While not especially aggressive, as a strong build, a thinker, clearly. Frederick. Uh, Mary Maxwell, non crew member. Uh, caterer from Phobos. Subject shows little of his mother's solid frame, but is a superb hunter. Stalks and learns tactics by observing the others. Appears to be developing a strong tactical mind. Nay. Subject Ellen. Ellen Marichek. Oh my, that's his wife. Space tourist. One to watch. Cunning, extraordinarily fast, and dangerous. Appears to prefer isolation as attempted pairings result in fatality. Takes an alpha role easily. Dominated the other Navi. A definite candidate for Alana's mate. You must have seen that. Come on. What? Oh, come on. That's clearly your wife's name. You didn't notice that? Uh... Anything I can actually do in here? Oh, there's... Down here. Uh, what's going on? The game freeze? I think the game might have frozen. Oh, nope. Clearly never. Squirms in medical restraints, great black eyes, and a sunken gray face glare with malice. What the hell? There's a PDA here and PDA there. What would require such intense monitoring from this highly technical rig? Coolant pipes. And this much data in these processing or reading is common. These machines must use a nitrogen based coolant to keep the computer systems running smoothly. Okay. Computers, anything, anything else I could do? Run, John, run. Don't go any further. I'm warning you now. Well, 
How could you do this? I do with my children as I see fit. It's barbaric. Spare me the pity of the righteous. Your daughter owes her life to me. What do you know about Rebecca? ARG was good on this ship, Mr. Marachek. Cancer, HIV, Ebola. I eliminated them all. Her life is mine to do with as I choose. I... Oh, yes. I know about everything, Johnny Boy. I know about your daughter. And all about your father. You are accountable. Jan, his signal, John. You need to hurry. We're close. Oh boy. They feared the unknown alien, the impossible. So this is Dr. Milan. This new year begins, the wheel turns, and Groomsway continues to lead the vanguard of scientific discovery for all humankind. Yeah, I feel dissatisfied. Even as the peons who work under me celebrate the new year, I wonder why. Why would you celebrate such an asinine concept as a great alien calendar? The reason is clear. Comfort. They fear the unknown, the aliens, the impossible. I do not embrace the unforgiving cosmos with open arms. The problem with the research we do is that human is the humans doing it. Constrained as they are by conscience, remorse, and sometimes shit. Some, <laughs> constrained but sometimes by shit. <laughs> well, Dr. Milan is definitely shit. Uh... Held back at every turn by paperwork, moralizing scientists, and a group of degenerate toadies I sit on the board with. If I were one of them, then my word would be God, my word, not the word of a corporation. Still, they have their uses. The research is funded by Kane, and the grooms like is kept running by the money and personnel they provide. The time will come when all this changes. Mark my word. Words. I've inundated with emails from all departments about inconsistencies with storage and contaminated samples. This grand masquerade is sometimes more tedious than actually worth it. First of all, it was Dr. Way and the technician, Miss Callister, is it? I know I make short work of such troublemakers, but it always seems worthwhile. Troublemakers must be allowed to make trouble, because if they disappear, that legitimizes their claims, and somebody will always take up the fallen crusader's torch. Dr. Bachman's tendencies are becoming harder to restrain. I'm well aware of his shortcomings. The old man is as brilliant as he is deranged, yet manages to go about his work with a sociopathic glee. He is useful to have around. He has requested more bodies for seed, specifically more women who were recently pregnant. That is problematic, as we have very few women on board and imports are not easy to come by. We had to play this one under the radar. Oh God. The fool Dr. Gray complained yet again about his beloved insects becoming more aggressive as a result of the power outages. So what? Let them spill out onto the decks as far as I'm concerned. The importance of seed outranks the hydroponics project work by a thousand to one. I do like playing chess with Dr. Gray, of course. I win every time. A little fact he's not likely to tell anyone, although he does seem quite happy to con contact anyone who is interested with the opinion that he's that he be the one, next best candidate for my job. Sebastian, you would... You would... What? Sebastian, you would not could not and know what I do. If you believe otherwise, then you're as great as fool as I imagine you to be. When, they c when the day that I foresee comes, your rotting corpse will be under my feet, and I will laugh. Dr. Williams is still under the delusion that I don't know about your personal research. Officially, it's illegal for staff to conduct their own research, but this is interesting. Recreating her dead lover in the form of a hybrid? How fascinating if it works. I'll make use of it. If it doesn't, then it'll burn with the rest of the rejects. The woman is obsessed. I know that Dr. Santos is playing no small part in feeding her delusions. I know her secret research won't cause me any problems, or I would never have allowed her on Project Seed. Uh, what happened? So it seems uh, contaminated waste from the corpse disposal over spill is contaminating the ship. It's causing fungal growths, or so my various drones tell me. 
The fungus is riveting proposition, though. While I'm angry that Dr. Berman were terminating more subjects than strictly necessary, these unintended side effects are more are fascinating. I intimidated as much to Dr. Gray, and of course stroked his ego with hints at promotion and glory. You'll keep the fungus alive. Oh, that's why you want to keep the fungus alive. Okay, the engineers want it destroyed, but I'm sure we can delay it. The experiment is becoming more engaging by the day, and I haven't even added to lift a finger. So while they clog up my inbox with demands and Rome burns, I plan to play the violin. We're more than secure here anyway. And this has a certain inability, in, 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 I'm sorry, I can't say the word, about it. I must record the daily developments as the experiment goes. As I foresaw, Hispanic disorder and mayhem, and yet C continues apace. Once the fervor and the flame dies down, we'll sweep the decks of Detritus and repurpose all of it for my beautiful hybrid creations. No more growing plants for the good of mankind. God is no longer in the machine. My friend, I am God. My beautiful children excel themselves. They kill, they learn, they adapt. A primal species without any of the trappings of morality. It's time now. They almost came... What? They almost came to be once many years ago, but were snuffed out by humanity, afraid of his natural successors. This systematic extermination was given names, the eugenic wars, the public knew it was a corporate warfare. In truth, it was a coordinated genocide. Humanity wasn't ready for, er, ready for Professor Gurun's astounding discovery and sought to destroy it. His work was not perfect, of course. That's where I come in. I spent most of my life as part of Kane, trying to Access Professor Grun's original work. Old man Kane pushed me to the top because we shared an ideal. The utilization of science for the perfection of humanity, where we differed were the methods by which it was to be achieved. Not that he had much more to say after I held the pills to his face as he lay in his hospital bed. All for a higher purpose. Creation of our species from raw subjects will become impossible now. That the crew are dead, dying, or unclean. But that's hardly an issue. The, subject, the subjects who were flawed or imperfect have been turned into the fertilizer. They will nurture the perfection of the surviving race. Now the challenge is moving the Groomswake out of range of any other ships. No one can be allowed to escape the ship alive. Any good, strong survivors will become the members of a new race. I am the creator. I control. I transcend. Dr. Santos, I'm so very disappointed in you. A distress signal? I thought we were one of, one of mine here in Seed. I'll castrate and destroy you for this. Betrayal. Your flawed body is utterly worth, worthy of becoming one of my children. But for now, I must turn off this accursed signal. You cannot hide it from me, Marvin. You drug-peddling little fuck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, indeed. Let's see what the other PDA is about. Uh, Robert Lincoln. I've been assigned to investigate the disappearance and murder of two scientists and employ Dr. Moran. A strange matter, to be sure. I've been observing the movement of some sort, some of these egg is. I can't say I'm too impressed. Um, uh, doesn't anybody around here record their comings or goings or make any notes? There is no traditional organization in this department whatsoever. Project Seed answers to nobody. This I know. But I thought these scientist types always made notes. Not that I care about admin, but I very much care about finding out who's selling weapons grade secrets. Industrial secrets are a matter of life and death, especially death in this case. My investigation will be thorough and no stone shall be left unturned. The staff here are strange. And in fact, I say a lot of them are even crazy, but I couldn't care less about that. I just want names and answers. I got this job because I get things done, not because of my warm and caring personality. At the moment, people are taking umbrage to my investigation, but security is constant and essential part of shipboard life, especially when we're talking about industrial espionage. I'm not sure where the two missing scientists are, but it seems based on my modified records I found that they were killed and ejected into space. Any other man would assume that these two were the criminals. I don't buy that. As far as suspects go, I ruled out Charlotte Williams and Marvin DeSantos. 
Charlotte because she doesn't know where she is after the time, and De Santos because he's just a smirking shit for brains. I'm confident that he's involved in drug dealing, and I will give him this. He is cautious and acts like he's a real ladies' man, but I know the truth. I see him rejected repeatedly at the bar. <laughs> I guess because he's following him. Since July, I've had to operate under the pretense that I'm an assistant. I'm lucky that in my career, I have, I've had some emergency room experience. The only per other person who knows about my true purpose here is Dr. Moran. He's been encouraging. He's been encouraging. He constantly supplies me with information that I require for my investigation. And at times, it's a little over helpful. Still, he seems honest enough. For the record, I'm well aware of his, of this kind of man, of what kind of man Dr. Moran is. I've seen the experiments with my own eyes. I've seen what happens when the bodies are disposed of and the burning fires of the furnace. But he does what but he does what he's required to justify the means. There are a few men in this world who do what has to be done. For that I admire him. He told me to watch over Dr. Williams experiments. It seems they're unofficial, and though I prepare to report report to Kane to have her removed from her position, Dr. Moran immediately overrode my request. I respect him, but to be honest, I don't like having my authority overruled. Bachman, while people, was sniffing around today. He seemed old. It seemed the old psychopath suddenly became curious. I asked Dr. Moran for further instructions, and he told me to incapacitate, incapacitate the old man. This I did. A shame I had to break the old guy's kneecaps. Honestly, I was hoping to slit his throat. But Dr. Moan insisted that he remain alive, alive and in pain, but unable to move. I'm reviving my earlier opinion of Dr. Santos' character. I still think he's pathetic little shit, but I, know, I now believe he was partly responsible for some of the stolen information. He strikes me as an amateur, but up to his, uh, put up to this by an outside agent. I'll deal with Dr. Santos soon, but first I've got to monitor his movements. Make one move, pal, and I'll have you. Dr. Moan has earmarked me for one of his experiments. I knew this because when I attempted to leave the ship to report to Kane Corp, I discovered that my access was restricted and blocked. I came back to my quarters and found Dr. Moan waiting there. He was waiting with two of those hellish critters that he's created. I'm not squeamish, but those things make me nauseous. I'm currently awaiting what he calls processing. I suppose at this uh, stage, I could make peace with God. I've killed many men in my life, and I'll never say that I feel remorse for it, and I won't give Dr. Moran satisfaction of hearing me pray for mercy. My last notes on this affair are that Dr. Moran himself is at the heart of events on board this ship. I was blind to it. I refused to believe that he was capable of creating such devastation. I always thought the size is like control, but Juan breaks all the rules as far as science is concerned. The leaked information, the fungal growth, the missing scientists, I'm being to suspect he even knew that Dr. Santos was actually selling intelligence, and may have fed him the information to sell. To what end? I don't know. I suspect it was because Dr. Santos kept Bachman drugged to the eyeballs with whatever powerful stimulants he has. What? I suspect it was because Dr. S De Santos kept Bachman drugged to the eyeballs with whatever powerful stimulus he happened to have, so Bachman couldn't continue his work. Could continue his work. I can hear the machines being turned on. I welcome my fate. At least I know what I did my job for Kane Corporation. Man. Oh, are you that thing? Who knows? But this one has been going on for a bit. I'm going to cut it there. So I hope you enjoyed all these machinations. And we got a little bit further. We clearly saw that one of those creatures was based on John's wife. But it doesn't look like he recognized it as such. There's a life support machine there. Terminals. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And see you later. Very nice. Again, again. There we go. I'm guessing we gotta break down this wall over here. Yeah. Take that, computers and crap. <laughs>